members. Welcome uh, to the subcommittee on strategy and measures to tackle domestic violence and sexual violence. Is the mic on? Uh, first off, um, we have to um, deal with um, just, uh, Dr. Kwokaki's uh, application to join. Uh, all right. If there are no questions, uh, we admit um, Dr. Kwok as well. Well, let's um, deal with uh, what we left off last last time: definition, identification, and assessment of domestic violence and sexual violence. So we invite the um, administration deputations in, please. Let's welcome. Let's welcome the administration and um, the uh, deputations. Uh, we have um, Mr. Stephen Sui, um, the SW, LWB, and also the police. Um, we are here to uh, discuss the definition, identification, and assessment of domestic violence and sexual violence. We. Uh, found that the in terms of uh, definition, there can be a number of uh, aspects. Uh, there is um, the um, the DCRVO un uh, under the law, it, it which was called a DVO previously, um, and the SWD also uh, has a mechanism to deal with um, the domestic violence cases, but. Uh, they have um they they are basically uh working on the basis of um abuse abuse of uh, child child abuse and um and partner abuse and the definition here that we are talking about is uh, much broader now as far as uh, the police uh, are concerned they have uh, another uh, system now the police um made some changes um after two thousand nine maybe in response to the um, amended uh, legislation, they have um, the domestic uh, incident um, added as a category, and that I think contributed to um, a sharp decline in the number of um, domestic uh, violence cases. Now we are concerned um, as to whether this arrangement uh, would result in some cases that otherwise uh, would be considered as uh, domestic violence um, um, that, that would be classified um, elsewhere. Or in other ways, so we have um, invited all the deputations here that, uh, with uh, different definitions. There would be uh, different uh, services made available. The same can be said about um, sexual 
violence, and the Law Reform Commission uh, did conduct um, um, a review on the definition uh, like rape and other sex offences. Now, following the LRC's uh, review, there doesn't seem to be uh, any movement uh, at all. We are concerned um, whether um, there have been uh, any stagnation in this particular area. Between 04 and 08, uh, we did have um, uh, this uh, committee, and we've we've been following up uh, the matter with uh, the administration. We hope that uh, we will be able to uh, seize um, the uh, remaining time uh, in this uh, term to discuss some um, the definition um, of domestic violence and sexual violence. Well, I have set the scene for members uh, very briefly. And procedurally, I'd like to invite the administration to say something um, in addition to the paper. We have been given the paper. You don't have um, to go into minute detail about the paper at all. And th thereafter, after the administration, I uh, throw the floor open for the deputations. We have about 20 or so. Um, each will be uh, restricted to three minutes. Please um, um, use the time. Uh, properly. Administration, please, uh, Mr. Xiu. Chairman, thank you. First of all, thank you very much, um, Chairman and members, uh, for showing concerns about the uh, definition of domestic violence and sexual violence. Indeed, uh, this is uh, an important issue uh, worthy of our concerns. I'm grateful to the deputations and um, members of the public uh, for um, joining us. Myself and my colleagues uh, would be um, listening uh, carefully to uh, your views uh, with a view to improving the services. Now, notwithstanding the limited time, uh, with your indulgence, Chairman, uh, I'd like to take up a bit of uh, members' time. Now, this is the first meeting of uh, the subcommittee. I'd like to uh, very briefly uh, highlight uh, what we've uh, been doing since uh, 2008 and all the improvements that have been made by way of um, a background. In terms of uh, policies, the administration adopts um, uh, zero tolerance um, towards um, domestic violence and sexual violence. Over the years, we've been devoting um, a lot of uh, resources or additional resources um, to help the victims of um, domestic violence and sexual violence. Uh, we provide them with um, the support um, services. In terms of finance, 0405, um, in terms of uh, child uh, welfare and um, domestic uh, violence, uh, we support the victims. Uh, we uh, set aside uh, $2.3 billion uh, compared with um, the $1.5 billion in 0808. We're talking about an increase of 47.3%. Now, we have uh, some additional uh, services, including um, the, um, uh, the um, accommodation uh, for the uh, victims. We have the fifth, uh, the um, refuge center, increasing the number to 260 in terms of places. We will have um, additional resources uh, for um, the crisis centers. Um, we also increased the manpower for the Crisis Intervention and Support Center. In June 2010, the SWD has introduced the support scheme for the victims. We do have the information available for the victims and help them to minimize the pressure on them. In Tin Shui Wai, we have a new clinical psychological section uh, we have also increased the manpower for the um, FCPSU, and we also have a hotline band at 24 hours. Now, as regards um, the batterers, starting from 2008, uh, of um, the 11 uh, FCPSU, so we have um, the um, program uh, for the batterers. In December 2013, uh, we have um, another program which um, was intended to help um, the um, batterers um, to, to um, make amends uh, to change their ways. The SWD also mounted uh, publicity. Now, 
Uh, in um, December 2014, uh, we had um, new APIs in, on TV and uh, on radio to uh, heighten the importance of this particular problem, and we will um, continue to do more of the same going forward. We are, of course, uh, very concerned about um, the uh, number of cases, um, the increase in the number of cases of um, battering um, of uh, cohabitants. Now, we, we have um, stepped up publicity, and if um, we have seen um, an increase in the number of um, cases, we will certainly improve and increase um, the availability of services. Now, in the light of um, the actual situation, we will um, devote uh, more resources. Today is a rare opportunity for us to listen to um, the deputation's views. I'm sure that in future, at, at future meetings, that uh, we will um, discuss in depth uh, other subjects um, to do with um, this topic, and we'll try to improve the services in order to meet the needs of um, the victims themselves. Perhaps I pause here, Chairman, and uh, we will uh, make a response um, after listening to the deputations. Police, um, would you like to uh, leave uh, your comments uh, after you've listened to the deputations? Perhaps um, you leave it. Um, to it a bit later. Police. Okay. I'll comment until after the questions have been asked. Thank you. Hold, hold. Okay. Hold. All right, then. Thank you very much. Okay, then let's move on to the uh, deputations. Three minutes, uh, as I said, uh, each. And what you say will not be protected by the powers and privileges ordinance. We will be held responsible for what you have to say, in other words. All right, first of all, uh, Harmony House, uh, Mr. Ho, uh, Madam Ho. Chairman, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is 2015, and we're celebrating the 30th uh, anniversary. Now, over the past uh, three decades, uh, we have been dealing with um, domestic violence. And over the past uh, 30 years, we've been working very, very hard, but still, um, domestic violence is, uh, remains a very serious problem. According to the SWD information uh, regarding uh, the battering of um, spouses and uh, cohabitants, we have seen an um, obvious increase. In 2013, uh, the uh, number of reported cases uh, saw a rise of 40.3 percent. Uh, between January and September uh, 2014, compared with the same period in 2013, uh, the number of new reported cases has seen a rise of 6.8 percent. And last year, newly reported cases related to sexual violence is, uh, stood at 834, uh, which, is, uh, which is an increase of uh, over 100%. So in 2012 and 2013, there are 15,055 15, um, cases and 14,643 cases received by the police. We are very worried about the situation. We have to know that um, the above statistics is just uh, the tip of the iceberg. And in relation to today's topic, that is definition, identification, and assessment of domestic violence and sexual violence, we would like to share with you our views. First of all, definition. We think that uh, the definition is uh, of uh, sex of domestic violence is closely related to the identification and assessment. If these cases can be eff efficiently or effectively identified, then it needs a clear definition. And currently, for government departments, NGOs, and relevant bodies and organizations, they all have different uh, interpretation of the uh, definition of domestic violence. There may be similarities, and at the same time, there are differences. Say, for example, uh, in our understanding, uh, in relation to the seriousness, um, according to the cases classified the police, uh, there are three types. They are domestic violence, crime, domestic, domestic violence, miscellaneous, and domestic incidents. I'm not going to elaborate the uh, definition, but for us, the first uh, the first type is uh, clearer when it comes to definition, and the uh, second and the third one are quite different with one another. If the definition itself is um, is not clear cut, it will affect 
uh, frontline officers who deal with uh, these cases, and it will affect their judgment when it comes to identification and assessment. May I have more time? Uh, please um, do it as soon as possible. Well, how come that uh, common assault um, will uh, be classified under domestic violence miscellaneous? According to the service users, they s said that sometimes they are subject to psychological uh, abuse. Say, for example, they've been scolded, uh, controlled financially, unreasonable, and um, and um, repetitive uh, a suspicion. And sometimes, when they take the case to the police, their cases have been um, toned down or neglected. So our suggestion is that definition should be clarified with um, organizations that deals with uh, these reported cases. And they have to reach a consensus with these um, bodies so that a clear definition can be reached in order to promote um, cross-disciplinary uh, uh, understanding and cooperation of these cases. We also suggest that universal screening can be put in place at schools, hospitals, uh, health clinics, etc., so that hidden cases can, uh, can be identified as early as possible and help be given to our family members. Ms. Tao, well, we have received uh, your written submission and we don't have much time. Uh, I think uh, the administration will have the opportunity to read your submission. May I say, speak a bit more because it's very important to the uh, topic under discussion. We would like to share with you our views. But please be quick. We think that those uh, who are victims of uh, domestic violence um, are very often neglected. Last year, that is 2013 to 14, we conducted a screening of uh, 3,855 3, um, primary uh, students, and about 40, over 40% 40 of them have seen their parents um, bicker or argue. And this is very important. We hope that um, domestic violence can include uh, psychological um, stress faced by uh, children. Next is um, Ms. Eva Leung, Hong Kong Federation of Women's Centers. We will present the Federation of Women's Centers. Our organization was uh, set up in 1981. Uh, every year we provide services to over 4,000 um, women. We give them um, counseling and uh, network support and also um, services in relation to the uh, ordinance, ordinances that are related to domestic violence. I agree with the, the last speaker. We hope that um, the, uh, the administration, uh, police, uh, the SWD will standardize their definition and also standardize their uh, reporting mechanism. I believe that uh, the police will exercise professional judgment when they handle these cases. But I'm quite concerned about the number of reported cases. Well, according to Hong Kong CSS, you, you, you will read their submission later. When it comes to number of cases reported to the police and those that are not reported to the police, we see that uh, there is a um, significant drop when it comes to cases reported to the police. I'm concerned whether it is related to the definition of um, domestic violence um, of uh, the police because we already have a, have consensus. We have guidelines in this regard, but it may be different from that of the police, and resulting in the sharp drop in the number of reported cases. And I strongly urge the uh, legal to follow this up, so that they can work on a standardized definition. And when it comes to uh, the SWD um, domestic violence cases. Uh, referred to by the police, according to the police, every year, when it comes to uh, domestic conflict reports, there are over 10,000. However, when it comes to the number of cases referred to the SWD, it's only just over 50 percent of that. So I'm very worried. 
whether um, they all have um, zero tolerance towards domestic violence and whether they will if they can effectively refer uh, families in need to the relevant department for assistance we urge that the administration introduce improvement in this regard and when it comes to um, those that are not related to intimate partners or not in within the same family say for example uh, teenager uh, teenager children's um, Exotic violence to uh, on their parents or among siblings or those who are living under the same roof because uh, there are uh, serious cases and we have come across such cases but we don't know uh, to where we should refer the cases y yes we will refer them to the integrated family service center but we are concerned that whether they are um, professionally trained and whether they have sufficient manpower to deal with the cases. We hope the SWD will um, put in place more resources to improve their services in this regard. And when it comes to um, sexual minority and um, um, cohabitants of the same sex, uh, I want to, um, well, I want to know more about um, the, uh, uh, the, the the characteristics of the cases and the number. Uh, we don't ha we don't have uh, these. We don't have the information, and I hope that we'll all work together to uh, improve the situation. Next is uh, Ms. Tiffany Ng from Rain Lily. We are Rain Lily. We are a specialized organization that deals with cases related to sexual violence. The understanding of the general public on sexual violence uh, will affect uh, how they seek help or how these cases are handled. And very often, cases that are not related to uh, rape um, are seldom referred. Say, for example, um, se uh, in in indecent assault, upskirt um, photos, uh, peeping, and um, well, um, coercing other people to uh, provide sexual service. We don't know whether there are actually no such cases, or is it the case that they they are not referred to? Indecent assault cases are rarely refer to us and for and for some rape cases they are not referred to uh, social welfare organizations for assistance Yes, uh, the severity of these cases may not be as uh, heavy as uh, rape, uh, rape cases but victims are still subject to considerable stress and if the definition of the police on sexual violence is not accurate it may result in um, some cases not being referred to relevant organization for assistance and when it comes to rape within um, a marriage or um, sexual um, violence in, in, in within the family, and number of, a, a lot of these cases are not uh, reported. And we've come across a, a case in which a police officer asked if uh, the victim uh, was not happy with the force used, and there was an also, there was also another case that um, of the victim was uh, doubted uh, about the, the reporting of the case because. Uh, she only wanted to uh, explain to the ex-boyfriend. We have the uh, central info system on spouse cohabitant battering cases and sexual violence uh, cases, but, there it, but it doesn't include upskirt photos, peeping, or um, sexual harassment. But victims of sexual harassment cases are also um, quite bothered by uh, what they've gone through, and they need um, counseling and they need legal services. So we wonder whether the sexual violence uh, will include uh, sexual harassment and whether sufficient assistance is given to uh, the victim. We don't even have the number of cases to, to gauge whether uh, it whether it, the situation is uh, serious. And uh, currently, the definition of a sexual intercourse uh, uh, is uh, uh, penal uh, penetration. And if only fingers, only is uh, if if it is digital penetration, then it cannot be um, rape. The LRC in 2012 has explored uh, in these issues, not just about the definition, but about other issues as well. And there has been consultation, but the, the, matters, the matter has not been followed up on. And we wonder what the progress is. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ng. Next is uh, Against Child Abuse, Dr. Jessica. Oh, I have six points to make. First, um, well, children uh, having to witness um, 
uh, domestic violence uh, should be classified as um, child abuse, and um, what the, for those that abuse, uh, it includes um, a neglect, uh, abuse of of the child, of the spouse, of the of uh, the elderly people, and children are defined as those under eighteen. And when when children have to witness domestic violence, uh, they are actually subject to psychological uh, stress, and they are traumatized, and it will they will, they sometimes will go through um, uh, post. Um, they will live in fear and uh, it, it, uh, and worry and it seriously affect them. In a lot of countries, uh, witnessing domestic violence is classified as child abuse. We urge the administration to consider including that. The second point I'd like to make is that um, the psychological health of children. We provide service in this regard um, for. Patients suffering from from uh, psychological illness or their family, but when it comes to children, they also need our care. And they, um, they they need to be taken care of, and um, this problem um, we need to show more concern on this problem. And when it comes to identification of psycho psychological abuse on children, in 2013 there were only 16 cases, and uh, from January to September last year there were only five cases. But we have uh, one. Point one million children in Hong Kong. So I don't believe that um, there can be so few cases. It is difficult to identify psychological abuse. I hope that the administration will put in place more resources and have more professionals to work on the definition of a psychological abuse. The fourth point I'd like to make is that there needs to be a review on the the um, so comprehensive uh, psychological and physical development of children, and sometimes uh, these uh, services, sometimes uh, we have uh, high risk cases. Say, for example, those suffering from emotional disorder or drug abuse, they have been uh, referred to the uh, IFSC Integrated Family Services Cent Service Centre. Um, however, there is no follow-up or review on the services um, provided or on these cases. Sometimes the, um, the the people involved they may think that they don't need uh, the service anymore and they just withdraw withdraw the uh, request for assistance. And we think that uh, the cases should be uh, followed up on. And there are also other cases. Say, for example, pregnant women they um, they are they take they take drugs. And when the babies are born, they uh, already have an addiction, and uh, these cases should be seriously taken care of as well. Sorry, I have uh, two more ca two more points to make. We have to prevent domestic violence, and there should be a newborn um, visit scheme in overseas countries. In the 1980s, they already have these uh, visit schemes. There are a lot of studies which show that this is effective in the prevention of child abuse and uh, um, reduce the, the the stress on um, children of on child and uh, social welfare services. There will be a lot of uh, PRH uh, estates being built, and we hope that in these new estates there will be newborn um, fam families with newborn visits scheme. And a sixth point. Is something that um, that that we don't see many surveys conducted in Hong Kong, and uh, so we need to have systematic uh, and regular uh, studies. And one thing is about um, ch ch children's um, deaths, and sometimes it will take a number of years when uh, studies or surveys are are, are done and. Um, these cases are actually looked into. There needs to be a review. Next, uh, Hong Kong Association for the Survivors of Women Abuse, Kwan Fook, Ms. Chung Pek Mui. Yes, we're dealing with um, domestic violence um, ourselves, uh, but we have seen uh, really very serious cases uh, recently. That there were uh, cases in which um, the um, Women, the women are suffering, have been suffering from domestic violence. Uh, when they brought up the children, they were subject to uh, the abuse uh, by the children. We've seen um, 
um, abuses um, of um, the um, parents uh, by the uh, children who are um, drug addicts, and and these uh, people have to um, rely on social workers for assistance. And we have um, seen uh, many many problems in this regard. Now these uh, women uh, have been suffering uh, considerably, but when they um, approached the social workers for assistance, and they um, suffered um, in more way than one. Now they approached um, the social workers and asked um, for a separate accommodation, and they asked for um, a reconciliation, uh, but um, they were accused of uh, having uh, mental problems, and they were taken to um, the mental hospital in Kwai Chong, and they, they were um, abused uh, by their children, and they took the cases um, to, the, to the welfare department, and they and the social workers have to mediate and help uh, resolve um, the problems, and by shoving them to the hospital will not be the answer to the problem. I hope that the social workers uh, would be concerned about the assessment um, mechanism that there, there ought to be a more flexibility and we uh, should not um, call the police or take them to the hospital um, at every turn. Now we've seen another case um, in which um, the woman asked the social workers um, to write a letter to the um, housing department uh, for her to be um, transferred to different accommodation. But uh, subsequently, uh, she was um, arrested instead. Now, for those um, uh, living on um, conditioned um, tenancy, uh, they they may be living in um, the crisis centres or the refuge centres or the um, subdivided flats, and they they lodge um, their complaints, uh, but the, the complaints are fall on deaf ears. I hope that um, the government would uh, show concern for these cases. Thank you. All right, Democratic Party, uh, Ms. Chen Shu Ying, Chairman. Thank you. We come here to this uh, public hearing uh, to voice um, the Democratic Party's um, views regarding the way in which um, the government deals with um, the domestic violence cases. Now, as far as the police are concerned, as from 2009, the uh, cases reported to the police are classified into three categories. Uh, domestic violence crime is uh, one of them. Domestic violence um, miscellaneous. And also domestic incidents. Since um, these uh, domestic um, conflict cases um, have been uh, subdivided uh, like this, the number of um, cases um, classified as domestic violence has um, dropped um, drastically. Now we we listen to the uh, DFCC uh, reports, and uh, the number has been going down in two thousand nine. The, the DV miscellaneous, uh, 1,954 cases, 1,954, 2,003, 676, 676. It seems that uh, the number of all the uh, DV cases has um, have been uh, resolved. However, we have seen an increase in the number of domestic uh, incidents, and maybe uh, it dispels and so on, that there may not be any uh, criminal element. Now, the, in 2009, uh, 9,275 uh, going up 
to um, um, 12,097 cases uh, in terms of domestic incidents. It seems to us that um, for a lot of uh, the domestic uh, violence cases, um, they are playing down um, the situation. And this will affect um, the Um, the way in which um, the domestic uh, violence cases are, are handled. If um, this trend uh, persists, then it will not be helpful at all uh, in addressing um, this particular issue. And I hope that um, the administration will have um, a review uh, on the situation uh, regarding um, the classification of the cases by the police. Um, whether this is appropriate. Now, this uh, will undermine the effectiveness of this uh, multidiscipline um, uh, mechanism to deal with um, the domestic uh, violence cases. Right, um, DAB, um, Mr. Ayman Yun. Chairman, thank you. Uh, we have seen cases of domestic violence. Um, sexual violence and so on. A lot of the batteries are family members themselves. And that we have seen um, this uh, information from the SWD. The trend has been going up. The uh, women uh, don't do have uh, a very scant uh, understanding of um, the, um, the the uh, domestic violence, other than physical violence and um, um, the. Um, uh, cut cut off the off the file ends and um, the psychological abuse are also classified as um, domestic violence. The government has to uh, step up uh, the work to uh, safeguard um, the safety of the women. In a lot of um, the cases, the battering is, the batterers are normally men, and the sufferers are normally the women. I think it has to do with um, the inequality between the um, the two genders, and the government should. Uh, step up publicity regarding the equality between the two genders. Well, the government um, should consider uh, how publicity and education uh, can be stepped up um, to um, equip um, women with um, the awareness of domestic violence. There should also be um, legal uh, support uh, for the women, uh, for them to understand their own uh, fundamental rights. As uh, was mentioned by other deputations, the government should uh, uh, assess uh, the seriousness of um, the problem and uh, see how um, the crisis intervention uh, should be uh, stepped up and assess the effectiveness of uh, the support services. All great services should be uh, enhanced uh, so that um, the uh, crisis can be handled in an appropriate and proper manner. In um, districts uh, where there are more uh, new arrivals, the SWD uh, should uh, step up the manpower. The DAB would uh, like to highlight um, the the role of um, the police. The frontline policemen, uh, when um, cases are reported to them, uh, will uh, handle them uh, uh, in the first instance. Now, whether the police officers have sufficient training to deal with the domestic violence cases is um, a question they have to, to consider. Now, for cases other than criminal uh, cases, uh, the police officers should undergo proper training. Now, the government um, may wish um, to uh, introduce um, the one social worker per police station uh, idea, uh, like um, the uh, the schools, and they have um, a social worker uh, per school. Now, when police officers um, encounter um, domestic uh, conflict problems uh, where they need um, to have um, social worker support, um, then they can have um, the, ready, the support already made available to them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ahn. Right next, uh, Midnight Blue, uh, Mr. Law Kun Kit. Um, we, we, um, I'd like to say something um, uh, regarding um, this uh, particular issue. Now, in terms of the definition of um, sexual violence, we have uh, received a lot of cases uh, that um, the um, sex workers uh, would, would normally agree uh, that uh, condoms would be used in the, in the, um, in the course of um, the act. Um, the, the client would take off the condom. 
uh, without the uh, consent um, of um, the sex worker. And th this should be regarded as some um, sexual violence. Under the law, this kind of uh, scenario uh, will not be uh, caught uh, by the law. Uh, I think that um, the sex workers uh, are subject to a great deal of harm. Now, for the uh, transgender uh, sex workers, now we have received a lot of um, assistance um, sought uh, by by these um, uh, workers. They uh, were given um, unfriendly treatment at the police station. Now, a lot of um, these um, sex workers are males themselves, uh, but they have undergone um, operation to uh, have uh, breast augmentation. But in the police station, uh, some of these uh, transgender uh, sex workers uh, were asked by the police um, to strip off um, entirely naked. Now, they told the police that um, they are transgender people, but the police are really looking at the gender on the ID card to determine uh, whether uh, a male officer or female officer would be uh, deployed. Normally, it would be a male officer who would be uh, conducting um, the search. And this is a huge humiliation to them that they are females um, in terms of identity, but they were searched and frisked uh, by a male uh, police officer. And this is wholly uh, humiliating. Now, we did ask um, the uh, Crime Prevention um, Bureau uh, to see whether there are any uh, guidelines. Now, we were told that um, there is no definition of transgender under the law, and that there is uh, no there are no guidelines there. And they they said that they are um, teaching or they are instructing, giving instructions to the frontline policemen. I think that th this is um, an affront of uh, human rights, and this is humiliating um, the the transgender people. And the media is um, rigidly looking at the um, ID card. Um, to ascertain the gender. I think uh, human rights are really abused um, by the um, police that, that are enjoying the power. I'd like to put this um, to the administration. Have you formulated any guidelines uh, regarding um, this kind of situation? If so, uh, what, what is it? And if not, are you going to be uh, roping us in? Um, are you going to uh, invite um, people like us um, to, to offer our, our input. Thank you. Thanks very much. Right. Hong Kong Council of Social Services, Mr. Tang chong -wa. We uh, I go along with um, the, uh, the speakers um, before me. Uh, the HKCSS is an NGO, and we have a network um, to deal with um, the domestic violence, uh, we have some uh, women organizations and other organizations forming uh, this uh, network. We have been following up on the issue for about a decade or so. We keep talking about um, the same thing, and we hope that by doing so, uh, there will be some effect. But we want to um, talk about a number of points. Uh, there is still some irregular irregularity when it comes to the number of reported cases uh, lodged with the police. In 2008, the number of reported cases was 4,800 or something. And in 2012, that's dropped to 7,791, a great drop of 83%. And in 2013, it has risen to 1,341 cases, which is only about 24% of uh, the, the figure in 2008. And at the same time, we look at um, other um, areas to uh, check if that is indeed the case, that the number of um, uh, cases has dropped. However, uh, when it comes to the uh, number of cases reported to not the police, it's uh, quite stable. It uh, hovers around 2,800 to uh, 3,500 um, cases. We wonder why, when it comes to the police, uh, there is a great drop of number of cases from over to over 4,000 to just over 700. Is it because uh, of um, the police definition of domestic violence? We hope that the police will give us some more information so that uh, we can get a better understanding of what is going on and we can maybe uh, help provide uh, some kind of help. We understand that the, the police are very helpful. Um, very often they are the first uh, to come across these cases. And you refer the cases to us so that we can follow up on these cases. Um, but it's not just about catching the culprit and punish 
when punishing the culprit. We have to follow up these cases to um, build the family again, to help uh, family members take care of the children. However, the number of cases referred to us is quite low all the time, just about half. Um, is it because they have encountered some kind of difficulties? We hope that uh, they, the police can do more when it comes to case referral. And when it comes to classification of domestic violence cases, it really puzzles us. Well, actually, um, the the term domestic violence is uh, very vague. It doesn't reflect the nature of the cases. Perhaps uh, the police should refer to the government um, policy that there should be zero tolerance. And when it comes to number of case, uh, reported cases, perhaps the police should follow the guidelines. And when it comes to referral, uh, sometimes the victims themselves are reluctant to have their cases referred. And uh, perhaps uh, more training can be given to police officers so the cases can be uh, referred to to us more effectively and that they should understand the nature of the cases better by referring to zero tolerance um, policy of the police. Next is Association for Concern for Legal Rights of Victims of Domestic Violence. Our association has over the years uh, devoted, has been uh, devoted to protecting uh, victims uh, of um, domestic violence. And we also uh, urge the administration to put in place comprehensive um, policies against domestic violence. We've heard from organizations talking about uh, the police classification of domestic violence cases into domestic violence crime, domestic violence miscellaneous, and domestic incidents and also the number of reported cases lodged with the police and the number of cases uh, lodged with the SWD. I'm not going to go into detail again, but I'd like to make two points here. To illustrate um, to you how these cases should be handled or defined. First, a person was battered and the report was uh, made to the police and the wo the woman said that the ex-husband was um, um, pestering her follow uh, and stalking her and the police officer said well well i'll just open the back door for you to leave the second case is that every night the husband would uh, loudly uh, something that uh, vilify um, the wife, including um, words with a sexual content. Neighbors reported the case to the police. And how would the police classify this? Is it a domestic incidents or just um, noise complaint? There is also another case. is not reported by the, the neighbor, this case, every day. The same thing was done by the ex-husband. Well, it actually is the, the current husband. At night, the, the husband would um, loudly say something uh, outside the door, the same thing. And then in the end, the, the daughter could not take it anymore and uh, said that uh, she would kill herself at school. And it's something that that is mentioned by uh, so some other deputations. The daughter witnessed domestic violence. How would uh, frontline social workers deal with this kind of psychological abuse, uh, psychological abuse cases? Would they think that um, the husband is suffering from some kind of mental illness and uh, something should be done um, with him? In 2011, we surveyed some um, battered females, and we found that 93.5% of the women have experienced psychological abuse. And when it comes to reported cases with the SWD, every year, is below 10% um, when it comes to psychological abuse. You see there is a stark contrast. 
So the number of cases um, handled by uh, the, the department was mostly f uh, related to physical violence. So when it comes to um, intervention, we find that uh, the frontline officers uh, are not very sensitive and they don't have a uh, sufficient sense of crisis. And no one, they were not told that they, they are actually handling a case of psychological abuse because there is no um, physical wound. And this, in a way, is um, uh, a pouring oil over the situation. What we will refer to your written submission. Next is a rainbow of Hong Kong, Mr. Tommy Chen. Well, we're here to talk about definition, identification, assessment of uh, domestic violence and uh, sexual violence. According to a survey done by the uh, Hong Kong Chinese University, over 30 percent of uh, same-sex cohabitants experience uh, sexual violence, which is uh, three times the number of um, um, heterosexual relationship, and they are not getting sufficient assistance from the SWD website in the third, in the first um, three quarters of 2013. Um, relating to same-sex domestic violence is about 0.4%. Uh, and um, it seems that uh, for the uh, SWD, it's uh, non-existent. In 2010, uh, 1st of January, the, um, the ordinance was changed to DCRVO to cover same-sex uh, cohabitation relationships. However, so far the SWD has not expanded the service and not put in place policies or guidelines or shelters for the same-sex um, cohabitants. And on 16th of September last year, uh, the SWD rejected the request of um, uh, uh, homosexual groups to join. So it seems that uh, well, uh, when gay people have come out and if they are subject to um, domestic violence, then they, um, when the case is reported, they are just uh, simply ignored. And when they seek assistance from SWD, um, if you are in a heterosexual relationship, then uh, your case will be part of the um, statistics. However, if you are in a same-sex relationship, then you're excluded. In uh, 2011, June, when it comes to training of um, social uh, welfare, they, uh, social workers, uh, they have neglected this piece of information, and still they refuse to admit that they have done uh, anything wrong. And from the statistics that you have heard so far, there is no breakdown of um, same-sex uh, people in same-sex relationship. It seems that they have um, been treated as non-existent. And I can tell you that um, um, same-sex um, gay people have been uh, rejected, excluded, and they're treated as if uh, they are transparent or invisible. So when will uh, the homosexual people be allowed to join the concerned group? And uh, when will there be policies covering uh, those in same-sex relationship? And how much resources has been devoted by the administration in this regard? And when will they set up um, a shelter, shelter for people in same-sex relationship or um, uh, homo homosexual people? Next is uh, Rainbow Action, Mr. Jimmy Sham. I'm not going to repeat what uh, Rainbow of Hong Kong said. And in 2013, the city U conducted um, a survey on um, domestic violence uh, among uh, homosexual people. And the professor said something very clear. And she said that um, it, the official statistic, statistics uh, do not uh, reflect uh, domestic violence um, among uh, homosexual people. And it seems that uh, this is a vicious uh, circle um, generated by the SWD. I call it a sham. At the time when the DCRVO was enacted, it's been five years. And uh, in the past, uh, an association conducted a survey and it was found that uh, the number of assistants number of cases uh, in which assistance was sought was uh, just over 10 percent, which is alarmingly low. Over a period of five years, has the administration put in place any policies or measures uh, to address this problem that is a low rep um, reported number? Nothing.
And over the period of five years, has the administration conducted any education campaign on this, in this regard? No. In 2003, when the uh, fixed penalty ticket amount was increased, that w there was uh, a wave of publicity. But when it comes to the C uh, DCRVO, has there been any education uh, and publicity campaign? Not even a leaflet. Is it the case that um, if you're a homosexual, if you're in a same-sex relationship, then um, you are um, you are you are treated like that, and there has not been any service center or shelter for homosexual people. Is it the case that you have put in place sufficient um, resources for for victims of domestic violence that you don't think there is any need to put in place more uh, resources? The SWD said there is a sufficient number of um, shelter. How come that homosexual go to um, seek assistance um, to to get a place for shelter? They have been turned away. Rainbow Action has been asking a number of questions of the SWD, but we've been given the same answer. That is, um, there is no differentiation of a sexual orientation. Well, so then why don't you send uh, women to um, male shelter? Uh, if you can't clarify uh, the concept of uh, sexual orientation and uh, gender, then you should go and ask Mr. York Chow. It's because of the low... Uh, reported number of cases f uh, among um, homosexual people, and there is uh, insufficient resources. The number of cases remains uh, low. Of course, pe uh, people won't go seek assistance when there is none whatsoever, and as a result, the number is going to be low. This is a vicious circle. This is a sham. And I'd like to say that uh, perhaps um, and. The SWD would like to paint a good picture of homosexual that uh, there is very low number of domestic um, violence, and when it comes to hetero relationship, then uh, the number is um, maybe uh, ten times more than that uh, amongst homosexual people. Uh, women coalition of HKSAR, Miss Yo, well, the DC uh, of your has been amended for. Uh, five or six years and the government has not um, put in place uh, all the measures uh, to uh, tie in with um, the legislation. I hope that um, this subcommittee uh, will push the administration to provide uh, all the necessary services for domestic violence. Now, we are talking about the definition of um, domestic violence. I must say that uh, with the introduction or with um, the amendment to the legislation, why is it that we have seen no increase um, in the number of uh, domestic violence cases? Now, that's um, because um, the uh, legislation uh, covers a number of um, different um, categories. In theory, the number should be going up. In fact, um, if you look at the database of the police and the SWD, now there, is, there are no cases of um, elderly abuse and, and some other cases, and certain cases are not reflected um, in the database at all. Now let me turn now to um, the same-sex um, cohabitants abuse. Now the first one is um, the um, abuse among the cohabitants. And the other one is um, the abuse involving family members. The SWD and the uh, police figures uh, do not show this. Now, according to the SWD, um, the gender uh, refers mainly to male and female. For transgenders, um, they, we have uh, a lot of cases referred to us, but statistically, they are not um, shown uh, there at all. We're not sure about the seriousness of the situation. According to the administration, um, there is no need um, to provide uh, support for the minority um, uh, a, pe a number of people. I'm not sure whether the police or the SWD have sufficient uh, manpower to identify um, the um, domestic abuse involving uh, same-sex cohabitants. Now, in the IFSCs uh, or the police stations, how many police officers or how many um, government officials have undergone training for them to be able to identify um, the same-sex um, cohabitants 
uh, domestic abuse. And if I may put this to the SWT, uh, how many IFSCs uh, are there where they are organizing activities uh, for the same-sex cohabitants as well? Finally, enough of these uh, integrated family service centers. A lot of uh, domestic violence cases are handled by the IFSCs. How many of them are giving equal opportunity to the same-sex cohab cohabitants? There are some anti-same-sex uh, um, couples um, that, um, that that are against this. Uh, is it the case that um, services are available in some districts uh, but not in others? Uh, for the uh, same-sex cohabitants, if they experience problems, uh, where will they be referred to? Thank you. All right, uh, Labour Party, Mr. Lo Ho Yun, uh, Chairman. The um, Tin Shui Wai incident has um, occurred about ten years ago, and we're still talking about the definition of domestic violence. Now, first of all. The um, with um, I'd like to find out about the the uh, reason why we have seen a reduction in uh, domestic violence. Is it the case that the police officers uh, would subjectively uh, classify a lot of uh, domestic violence cases as domestic incidents? And uh, and. Is it the case um, that this uh, led to the reduction? Is it the case that the frontline police officers don't have um, the the uh, assessment tool for them to um, identify the cases? Now we are concerned about the training um, that the police officers are undergoing, and whether they are doing everything in accordance with their subjective judgment. We have so many experts here. I'm sure. That um, the LWB, the SWD, or the police uh, would consider uh, formulating um, a transparent um, checklist, uh, like uh, what cases um, should be classified as domestic violence or what should be classified as um, domestic incidents, and um, um, what um, I, I'm sure that there should be uh, some objective uh, criteria instead of, instead of leaving it to the subjective judgment. Under the uh, DCRVO, uh, we have um, also the Crimes Ordinance and the um, um, the in Taiwan and other uh, places they have a very clear definition regarding domestic violence. In Hong Kong, it is uh, very much um, a civil remedy uh, more than criminal, and I think the government should um, consider. Formulating a clear definition regarding domestic uh, violence. That the it would take an awful long time for legislation to be amended. In the meantime, the uh, cross departmental uh, coordination would be important. I'm disappointed that uh, we only have um, the SWD uh, or the LWB and the police here. But what about um, the hospital authority and and so on? Perhaps that we should have um, a cross departmental mechanism um, whereby we have um, a transparent um, assessment tool uh, to deal with um, all these different cases. Now, if um, there, there is some follow up action to be taken, it doesn't matter where you classify. Uh, classify them into, uh, but I mean we don't have uh, this kind of follow action in Hong Kong. Right next, um, new arrival women league, uh, Ms. Young Le May. Chairman, uh, we are uh, composed of um, new arrivals over the past uh, decade or so. We have been assisting um, the new arrival women uh, who came to Hong Kong. In many cases, um, the uh, spouses uh, were uh, battered. And they were not uh, given proper assistance by the SWD, and they ended up um, in our uh, league. We would um, talk with um, the social welfare department as to why a woman uh, who's uh, subject to uh, domestic violence and and she's not given um, the assistance. That maybe is um, because um, the of the fact that um, the the woman the women are only asked to approach um, the social workers. 
and the frontline social workers uh, may not be offering their assistance in accordance with um, the legislation. Now, if, um, a case recently, she was subject to um, domestic violence, and she's uh, filing a divorce, and it is so expensive um, to rent accommodation. If the social workers um, don't give assistance, uh, she would have no, no, no option but to uh, live in the same place uh, with uh, her husband. Now, the, the lawyer uh, told her that um, the, um, depending uh, who uh, will get the custody of ch the children, um, the accommodation will be given to, um, to, to the party concerned. Now, the husband um, um, uh, talked her into having um, um, sexual um, uh, intersex, and uh, she was um, pregnant again, and and she went to the social workers, and, and the social workers told her that uh, nothing could be done because um, she's filing for a divorce. And I think the social workers would uh, help her uh, to move out of um, the family. Now the the rent is so high, and a, a lot of uh, women ended up uh, in the refuge centres, and these uh, shelters uh, would would allow them to stay for a certain period of time. But once um, they move out, uh, they um, they move into um, the subdivided uh, units, and the social workers would not follow up on the accommodation for them, and they experience enormous difficulties uh, with accommodation. And they have uh, suffered from this upheaval in their life, and they're not given any assistance. Now, the other issue is this. I know that um, that the, uh, the there there is uh, no seven-year residence requirement for um, the SCSSA, but there is uh, for uh, public housing. So, with um, this seven-year restriction, they cannot uh, really have any accommodation offered to them. Right next, um, sex worker, a uh, sex work groups alliance, uh, Ms. Uh, Yik Kwan Pek. Thank you, Chairman. Um, the sex uh, workers uh, have uh, not been given assistance um, in 2013 April uh, for uh, NGOs. Um, the um, four sex uh, workers association, uh, the uh, the Midnight Blue, and so on. Um, conducted a questionnaire survey. About 50% uh, of the sex workers polled uh, said that um, they were stopped um, um, using uh, condoms. And in the course of um, the transaction, a lot of um, the clients um, uh, took off the condoms in, in, in the middle of the act. And in the course of um, the um, uh, transaction, they, they suffered from all these problems. Now, if um, the sex um, is um, non-consensual, it would amount to uh, sexual violence. But um, many social many sex workers took their cases um, to the police, and the frontline police officers ignore um, the uh, sexual uh, sex and violence uh, suffered um, by the uh, sex workers. And it shows that uh, the frontline uh, police officers uh, do not have a high enough sensitivity to the sex workers. I am very concerned about the personal safety of um, the sex workers. Do the police uh, feel that um, sex workers will not experience any sexual violence? Uh, in many cases, um, the sex workers uh, were um, taken uh, sneak uh, photographs. Uh, we asked um, the Crime Prevention Bureau of the police, and in absence of any evidence, it was said it would be difficult to prosecute. Now, these um, photos uh, would be posted on the web, and but if um, the um, the clips uh, were not uh, posted on the web, and if they are not um, put in the public domain, then under the law, how can we uh, how can we deal with um, these problems? Now, for the sex workers, these kind of sexual uh, violence um, would be perpetrated on them on a regular basis. If I may put this to the police, are there any 
uh, statistics uh, regarding sexual uh, violence uh, committed against and the sex workers. I'm sure there ought to be some guidelines or some procedures on the part of the police in, in dealing with um, these cases. Um, and, and, and these uh, guidelines are not applied um, to the um, sex workers. Will the police um, reveal um, the procedure or the guidelines um, to tie in with the situation? Uh, when the sex workers are suffering uh, from uh, sexual violence, uh, would the uh, police officers uh, be given sufficient training to deal with um, cases of this um, nature? If not, um, uh, would there be any um, training offered to the police officers um, to heighten their sensitivity? We believe that uh, the police um, should address um, the sexual violence problems uh, suffered by the sex workers uh, on, on, on a regular basis. Thank you. Right well, next to the Tonghua Group of Hospitals, um, Ms. Margaret Wong, Chairman. Uh, we have um, the uh, SEAS um, Crisis Center, the Multi Purpose Crisis Intervention and Support Center, uh, which is um, there to help um, the victims of um, domestic violence. If I may uh, make two points here uh, of concern to me. Some uh, speakers uh, have already um, heightened, uh, highlighted um, the, uh, the, the definition uh, problem. And according to some information, the um, definition of domestic violence is very broad. Now, what about uh, non-physical abuse, uh, like mental uh, psychological abuse, uh, threat, intimidation, and so on? Um, now, we understand that uh, the harm inflicted by uh, the mental abuse uh, would be no less uh, than any physical abuse. As regards um, sexual violence, uh, we are very concerned um, that in many of um, the cases, um, they involve uh, indecent assault. And many a time, um, these cases uh, were not uh, referred by the police. Now, why is it the case? Can more be done about the situation? In terms of um, sexual violence, uh, when we were f um, first um, when we first came into being, um, the SWD um, held uh, professional meetings on a regular basis involving the police and and the service providers. Now we met uh, regularly um, to uh, discuss some certain issues, and these are very effective. We hope um, that is something that can be uh, done again by the uh, department. Next is uh, Caritas Family Crisis Line and Education Center, Ms. Wong Choi Shan. And just now, some figures have been uh, supplied in relation to the case re uh, reported to the police and uh, whether it re reflects reality. Our service is mainly uh, one of a hotline. And so most of the time, we uh, come into contact with some hidden cases. In recent years, uh, we found that when it comes to intimate um, partner uh, domestic, um, violence and domestic violence, they have sought assistance from us. And it seems that um, um, there, is a, there is a potential for these cases uh, to become hidden again. And a lot of the people who seek uh, who sought assistance uh, they have reported the case to the police and the uh, number of the hotline is actually given to them by the police when when we asked them where um, they got our number but when our frontline officers came into contact with them we found that uh, we are already one step too late because uh, what is most effective to them is the immediate uh, referral of their cases say f say for example to um, some um, sh to, to a shelter, and when they come when they come to us, they're mostly high risk cases. If there is a delay of a referral, then the situation may become worse. And sometimes, uh, when uh, the heat has uh, subsided, they may think that there is no need for them to seek assistance from us. We believe that uh, there seems to be some kind of a standard or a set of um, criteria in assessment on the part of the police. We are concerned about um, these uh, set of criteria in uh, assessing them, uh, the cases by the police. 
Is it the case that, that they will refer their cases to um, the relevant NGO or just give them a card with uh, information printed on it? Is it the case that police officers um, give the victims uh, an information sheet with uh, hotline numbers and they would think that the case has been dealt with? Next is Caritas Family Crisis Support Center. Um, Mr. Dong, thank you. Just like uh, what the other deputations have said, we are concerned about the number of reported cases and its a uh, drop. Is it, the, is it because um, in 2009, the police has uh, set, set up this uh, classification of um, uh, domestic conflict cases into three types? And uh, the classification fails to reflect the severity of the cases. When it comes to domestic uh, incidents, uh, the scope uh, is actually quite wide. According to the SWD, uh, domestic um, violence includes psychological uh, abuse. And uh, in our center, over 60% of, of the cases involve a psychological abuse. We have seen that uh, such abuse is uh, no um, is uh, no less severe than the physical abuse, and sometimes uh, the victims will show inclination uh, will show, will have a sus um, suicidal tendency. There are some hidden cases. They uh, people are subject to um, domestic violence and. Um, they should be given assistance. Can the police give us information uh, how they assess the um, severity of uh, domestic violence cases? Is there a standardized, standardized guideline for frontline officers uh, to assess these cases? When it comes to hidden cases, um, do the police have the sensitivity to identify them? And can uh, frontline officers uh, identify um, Cases of uh, psychological abuse, and after the after the classification of um, the report into three uh, types, uh, is um, does it result in um, different treatment towards uh, uh, victims in domestic violence uh, cases? And in some cases, uh, they are not spouse; they are not a married couple. They are just uh, living together for a very long time, and we show concern about um, domestic violence among people who uh, who have cohabited for a very long time, and we have uh, handled um, cases. The, uh, a lot of these cases, we hope that the police uh, will show concern when it comes to cases involving um, people who are who are in a long term relationship. And we have received information that uh, there is uh, interdisciplinary cooperation when it comes to handling of these cases. Uh, yes, uh, there may be um, difference um, in opinion when it comes to assessment uh, and the way of handling of cases from different discipline. Um, can there be uh, a standardized um, assessment a framework that has uh, taken into account uh, our local situation. And according to the SWD, when the IFSC received um, domestic cases, uh, that is an uh, intimate partner um, of domestic violence, that uh, they will refer the, um, the case to the relevant unit, say uh, family and child protective uh, services uh, unit, but for other um, violence uh, cases involving uh, intimate partners. They may be referring to some. They may be referred to some other uh, unit. We hope that the IFSC will standardize their um, uh, referral arrangement. That is, uh, when it comes to uh, intimate partner domestic violence, uh, the case will be referred to Family and Child Protective Services unit. I come here to tell you about something that happened uh, in my family six years ago. Six years ago, my mom um, learned that I um, I am gay, and we've been bickering for over a year. And in one of the arguments, my mom told me that uh, it's better that I left the family immediately, and I um, did not know what to do. I was at a loss because my mom did not like what I am. 
and she、uh, kicked me out of the house. I only had a one hundred dollars with me, and I had some clothes with me, and I did not know where to turn to. I called the Hong Kong Jockey Club. Well, at that time, I would be sitting for um, my um, exam, my public examination、uh, in Form Five. I did not know what to do. I remember someone told me that、um, well, it would be difficult for me to get a place in a shelter because I would need the, the consent from my parents, and I didn't think that、uh, I, I would be able to get a place. And I was、uh, offered a, a place at the、uh, shelter just for the period bef、um, before my public exam. I didn't know that it was domestic violence. A lot of、um, my friends have、uh, experienced、um, similar situation:、uh, repetitive bickering with their parents. The parents、um, uh, stop uh, financial uh, uh, support, and、uh, one of my friends start,、uh, said that,、uh, "Do you know that、uh, you're sick in the head, and should I take you to see a doctor?" Children don't really know how to tell their、um, parents to stop such treatment. Well, I couldn't get a, a, a place in the in, in the shelter, and after my public examination, I、um, made more friends, and I am actually one of the lucky ones because a lot of、uh, gay people I know they've been beaten by their parents. And of course,、uh, there 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 are a lot of people being kicked out of the house. So it's quite common for gay people to experience domestic violence. Uh, only uh, under twenty percent of、uh, the people I know are the lucky ones who、uh, did not experience anything like that. And for some, when they、uh, go home after school, that their parents would scold them or would beat them. So if you're under eighteen, if you're gay, what are you supposed to do? I still don't know. Can you give me some answers? Thank you, Mr. Yang. Next is、um, the fourth right caucus, Miss Zhang. I once、um, was、um, someone suffering from mental illness, and I was a victim of domestic violence. At the end of 2012, it was very cold. My ex-husband got drunk. And、uh, wouldn't stop scolding me, breaking things in the house,、uh, throwing things at me. And he said that he would、um, beat me to a pulp. I did not know what happened to him outside. Why he would treat me like this? And he wouldn't stop scolding me till 4 a.m. And he took. Um, a stainless steel、um, pole, th and threatened to to beat me, to and、uh, kill me. I was very scared. I was cold. I wrapped myself with the quilt, and before he,、um, he actually beat me, I、uh, dial. I, I report the case to the police by calling them, and I also call my son, who is、uh, on the mainland, and he stopped. And、uh, after ten minutes, two male police officers came to the flat and asked who、uh, called the police, and I said it was me. And I, I was asked why I called the police. I said because my husband、uh, threatened to beat me. And then my husband said to the police officers that、uh, he was determined to、um, beat me to death, and he was asked why. And my husband、uh, couldn't answer. And a police officer took my husband out to talk to him, whereas the other one stayed at home with me and asked me if I was hurt in any way, whether I had any relatives or friends in Hong Kong. I said no, because I just、uh, just arrived in Hong Kong. And then they talked among themselves for about thirty minutes. They talked with my、um, 
The police officer who talked to my ex-husband asked me if I was hurt in any way. I said no. And the police officer went out to get my husband. And then he came back to tell me that、uh, I don't know where your husband has gone. I couldn't find him. And I thought you were talking to my husband outside, and you came in to ask me where my husband was. And then、uh, the officer gave me a piece of paper in yellow with a number of、um, a number, telephone numbers on it, and,、uh, and and told me that I could call these numbers. But my husband was the one who、uh, who beat me. Now, how come he was、uh, allowed to leave? And every day thereafter, my husband. Well, I was asked、uh, to return the ID card, my husband's ID card, to、uh, my husband. And and then、uh, thereafter, he came. He called me all the time. And then, not long after that, at, at around 7 p.m., when I returned home from work, I saw that、um, everything was sh shattered in the house, and the kettle was on, and you wouldn't imagine what's inside the kettle. It was my shoe inside the kettle. And it and the water was boiling. I was very angry. I ran downstairs and I I、uh, and my caretaker asked me what happened. And I I I went back home with the、um, caretaker, and actually my husband was there sleeping there, and、uh, my husband told the caretaker off and said it's nothing to do with him. Sorry,、um, we don't have、uh, enough time to hear the end of your story, but we gather that、um, you were telling us how your case was handled by the police. Perhaps、um, we will let the police and the SWD to to answer, and let's see if we have、uh, any time left、um, to cover it. We're not here to talk about、uh, specific cases. We're mainly here to talk about policy. But I know that you're trying to use your case to illustrate、um, whether there is any、uh, inadequacies in policies or the way cases are handled. I thank、um, the over twenty deputations for giving us their views. I think most of them. Um, made their comments、um, on、uh, the police when it comes to how they are handled, case referral, and there is also a different issue of、uh, sexual violence, and also、um, services、uh, to transgender and、uh, homosexual, and also、uh, case referrals of、uh, with、uh, in cases involving homosexuals when it comes to the SWD, Mr. Hemmings or Mr. Dears. Would you like to give us a reply?、Uh, thank you. First of all,、um, I just、um, there's a number of points I've um, uh, um, written down, and I hope I've done so accurately.、Um, the, the first thing、um, I'd like to cover is the definition of domestic violence.、Um, as you pointed out, Mr. Chairman, the um, um, we added a new category in 2009: domestic incident. Um, the reason that we did that is we wanted to expand the net to capture more cases.、Um, so not only did we have the domestic violence crime and domestic violence miscellaneous cases, but we also added the domestic incidents as well. This、um, covers those cases which、um, do not tend to have a criminal or violent element in them, but we feel that.、Um, The matter needs to be dealt with anyway,、um, because we want some sort of timely intervention in order to ensure that the cases do not get any worse or escalate into something more serious. In respect of our treatment of the cases,、um, no matter they are domestic violence, crime, miscellaneous, or a domestic incident, we treat all the cases with equal seriousness,、um, 
and we deploy a sergeant to lead the frontline officers to attend the scene. When they do attend the scene, they have a number of tools available to them to make an assessment. Um, uh, they, they, there's a list of risk factors, and also we have the electronic central domestic violence database, which they will have access to, so that they can find out whether um, there have been any previous reports involving that family in the, the um, previous months or in, in the last year. Um, if uh, that family has made previous reports before, then the case will be investigated by the same team because they are familiar with the situation and the family. <clears throat> the, the main purpose of our officers attending is twofold. First, we want to prevent the continuation of the violence and any uh, recurrence, and also to prosecute offenders subject to there being sufficient evidence to do so, but also we need the assistance of the victim um, to do that, and, and obviously she will need to be willing to prosecute um, her spouse or partner as well. In respect of um, the type of couples, um, the procedures for heterosexual couples or same-sex couples are substantially the same, and our officers have received training in both uh, um, when dealing with such matters. The training takes place on a variety of occasions. Um, for our recruit constables and inspectors, um, they will receive um, coverage of domestic violence and sexual violence during the foundation training. Also, our detectives will receive further training in that respect at the standard criminal investigation course and also the advanced criminal investigation course. There will also be other training um, at other occasions during a police officer's career, for example, uh, promotion courses, uh, development courses, and also uh, training days. Um, some of the topics that might be covered um, in the past uh, have been, for example, psychological skills in handling victims, empathetic listening, conflict management, and understanding aggression, violence, and handling techniques, uh, to name but a few. Um, but I'd like to stress, um, this is an ongoing process, and um, when there are new developments or changes in the law, we try and keep up to date with these and give our frontline officers um, the information that they need to handle the cases. For those cases which are more serious in nature, or there's likely to be an impact on the family, or there's children involved, um, we will make referrals to the Social Welfare Department for assistance, and there is actually a 24-hour hotline um, for that. This is usually done with the consent of the victim, and in certain cases, if the victim is not willing for the matter to be referred, then we will give her certain literature advising her what her options are. There are instances um, in very, very serious cases, um, perhaps of a life-threatening nature, where we could refer without the consent of the victim, but that is the exception rather than the norm and would have to satisfy the provisions of the personal data privacy ordinance. It would also have to be personally approved by superintendent as well. In respect of the handling of the cases, I, I mentioned that um, a sergeant uh, has to attend the scene, each incident, no matter whether it's crime, miscellaneous, or a domestic incident. But that's not where the supervision ends. Um, also, um, there's a monitoring system um, in the police, so for example, that the shift inspector will be made aware of what cases have occurred during the shift. Um, the chief inspector will be monitoring significant cases throughout the course of the day. The next morning, um, a report is prepared on all cases within the last 24 hours, and the significant cases or those that need special attention will be looked at by the um, divisional and district management. Um, in respect of the issue of psychological abuse that was brought up, um, well, basically, depending on the circumstances, that may be a crime, uh, for example, or um, it could um, be an, uh, certainly substantiate an allegation of a crime, um, for example, criminal intimidation, possibly common assault, but each case depends on its own merits. And uh, basically, there are sometimes grey areas, and obviously, police officers will have to exercise judgment at the scene when they're doing inquiries. Um, so that's the main points I wish to cover, uh, Mr. Chairman, unless you have any further questions okay. for me. Oh, oh, uh, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. Hemmings, LWB, uh, and the um, SWD. 
in terms of uh, operational matters, I uh, defer to the SWD colleagues. If I may uh, highlight uh, one point, uh, thank you very much um, for the deputation's views uh, regarding um, the definition and the assessment. Now, under the um, social welfare director, uh, there is a working group um, on um, prevention of child abuse uh, with the representatives from the police and education uh, bureau, uh, the hospital authority and NGOs, uh, like uh, some uh, stakeholders said a moment ago, we can take advantage of these um, platforms uh, to review the situation to see where we need to uh, strengthen um, our support. As um, you're aware, under the coordination of um, the SWD and also in the light of uh, experts' um, advice, uh, we have put together a number of um, procedural guides, um, the guide for handling child abuse cases, um, for handling uh, intimate partner violence cases, and for handling adult um, sexual violence cases. In these uh, procedural guides, uh, we deal with um, the definition uh, the assessment and all the related uh, procedures in relation to uh, all these uh, different cases. And these um, can certainly be uh, enhanced uh, subject to uh, input uh, from various quarters. As to the operational details, I defer to Mr. Fong. Chairman, thank you. If I may um, home in on two issues here, uh, first of all, the publicity of um, the legislation over the past five years. In fact, uh, through different channels, uh, like um, the District um, Coordination Committee, um, the Coordination Committee, um, Family Co Coordination Committee, uh, we are enhancing public awareness of uh, the protection under the DCRVO. We are um, giving protection to the victims and equip them with the awareness of from um, the law. Uh, now, in the SWD, uh, the FCPSUs over the past four years have uh, been liaising with um, the same-sex um, cohabitants about um, domestic violence in this regard. Now, the uh, SEAS uh, Crisis Center is um, promoting um, the services for the minority um, people. Um, and we um, distribute uh, flyers and all the literature for them. The members are concerned about the training. In fact, an SWD does um, provide training to the frontline social workers on a regular basis. And all these um, trainings include um, the um, training that they undergo uh, when uh, they they are first appointed to the jobs, and they are trained uh, in relation to the sensitivity and the definition of um, the cases. Last year, about 7,000 uh, colleagues have undergone training uh, regarding uh, domestic violence. That the uh, FCPSUs and the NGO uh, colleagues um, have been undergoing trainings. We have organized um, nine um, seminars uh, for um, people of um, different uh, sexual orientation uh, for them to understand the situation. Now, there also mention of psychological abuse, um, which is um, dear to members' heart. When uh, social workers uh, receive complaints or, or cases, they, they would be concerned uh, not just um, the physical uh, harm that um, they are under, uh, but also um, the, the emotional aspect. Where necessary, the uh, social workers uh, will refer the victims um, to the clinical psychologist for follow-up action. Thank you. Well, honestly, the police or the uh, H the LWB uh, have uh, not responded to certain key points, uh, like the um, ambiguity of the definition. I understand the Law Society also pointed out the same uh, regarding the ambiguity of the definition. 
the HKCSS uh, referred to the anomaly of um, the figures over the past four years um, under the uh, definition of uh, the police, um, the number of cases uh, has uh, drastically reduced, and the number of referral uh, uh, cases uh, has also dropped. And uh, for the sex workers and also the uh, transgender uh, or the same sex uh, cohabitants, people of um, different um, sexual orientation. Um, you haven't responded uh, clearly uh, to um, the, the problems that they're suffering. Now I have, um, we have to end the meeting at 4.30. We have very, very limited time. I think I have to restrict members to three minutes, Ms. Uh, Helena Wong and uh, Ms. Emily Lau. Thank you very much um, for the deputations um, for sharing um, their, their views uh, with us on this subject. I do share um, your views. A number of uh, representatives mentioned the definition of um, domestic violence, and they are questioning as to whether this uh, only includes um, physical violence, or what about um, sexual abuse, or what about um, psychological abuse. Now, the SWD seems to be inclined to uh, to support that, but I mean this is not included in the police. Um, Classification: uh, The police um, have um, the domestic uh, violence, uh, crime, miscellaneous, and domestic incidents. Uh, the first two uh, have to do with uh, physical harm. Uh, what about uh, sexual abuse and psychological abuse, uh, where you don't have any um, any uh, uh, superficial um, injuries um, evidence? How would they be classified? Now, under this um, definition, the statistics uh, seem to be um, trending down, but in fact, um, the number of cases uh, has in fact um, gone up, as uh, Madam Wong alluded to earlier on. Now, as far as the police are, as to be the are concerned, if they adopt a different um, criteria or different uh, mechanism, when uh, people uh, report the cases to the police. Um, now, where they cannot find any uh, uh, evidence of injuries, uh, where um, uh, psychological uh, abuse uh, occurs, uh, how would you regard this as um, trivial matters? Chairman. Well, I think when it comes to definition in the law, well, whether it is uh, sexual, psychological, or physical, they are all included in the definition. If uh, there is a criminal element in it, that is, uh, if it's under the offences against uh, the person's ordinance or um, crime's ordinance, then it's very clear. And even under the DCRVO, you find information in the second paragraph that um, from uh, the common law um, cases, it's, uh, it, it also includes uh, psychological violence as well. Well, when it comes to assessment, uh, whether the um, personnel involved can make an accurate assessment, uh, it can be enhanced uh, through guidelines and training. My question was uh, whether there needs to be some kind of coordination to uh, standardize the definition so that the police will know how to deal with uh, psychological and sexual abuses and whether they should be classified under domestic incident. As the information document said, that uh, there are a number of guidelines, and these guidelines are coordinated with the participation of the police and some uh, government departments in its uh, formulation. There is a standardized uh, a definition, and as to whether there will be a further clarification, we keep an open mind. But uh, the information is available in uh, the, the guides and guidelines. Question is not answered, but we will leave it for now. Ms. Emily Lau. Uh, Chairman, you know I'm not a member of this subcommittee, but I uh, came here as soon as I heard about it because I have um, contact with uh, some of the deputations and I know that this is a very serious issue. And I will send you a letter asking to uh, be allowed to join. I don't know about your, uh, your work. Uh, since uh, there has been a public hearing and you've listened to the, the administration, I hope there will be a report. Perhaps uh, it can be reverted to the panel. Uh, 
and the report will be given to the uh, the administration, and maybe we'll have a, a debate on this in the LegCo. I'm very concerned about the domestic violence. You know, it was last year or the year before uh, when the commissioner of police came here. I asked about domestic violence. He uh, waved a booklet around saying that well, uh, there is. Um, Especially for domestic violence, and not for any other uh, types of offences, and there is a senior rank of police officers uh, um, dedicated to handling these cases. If that is indeed so grand, then uh, that we won't see the situation like this. Waved at us, but there are so many cases. Whether it's from the women, whether it's from the uh, uh, the LGBT groups, from uh, sex workers, it seems the police are not helping them very much. What can we, LegCo, do to support you so that you can give them better assistance? Mr. Hemmings. Um, one, one, one point I'd like to make, because um, the, the issue of the difference in classification has come up, and I think it needs to be stressed here that although the police and the social welfare department work closely together on this issue, we also have different roles. And our main role is to respond to incidents to make an assessment, to prevent any further violence, to refer to social welfare department if necessary, and to prosecute offenders if there is evidence available. Um, I think um, the social welfare department have a different role to play because they're more concerned with the, 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 the follow-up aspects and the, the, the children aspects of it, etc. But I think already we have a lot of robust protocols in place, and we are already doing a lot of good work. Well, um, Mr. Chairman, I think the protocol me, uh, just is like to obviously finish, not adequate. That's why uh, these vulnerable people are not being protected. So that's why I suggest the subcommittee will draw up a report and make recommendations. And I certainly hope that in the meantime you will revise your handbook and don't just treat all this as family matters. When there are people, whether they are physically or mentally, being tortured, I hope the police would take them more seriously and would refer more cases to the social welfare department. Or is it the social welfare department asks you people not to refer cases to them? May I respond, Mr. Mr. Chairman? Um, thank you for the comments, and obviously we take those on board. But um, I need to stress we do take the issue of domestic violence very, very seriously. And uh, we've introduced a lot of measures, particularly since the Tinso OI case in 2004, to deal with this. Um, it may well be that we need to do some further things and, and, and enhance some of our procedures, but we do take it very, very seriously. Uh, we believe that uh, you take this very seriously. Ms. Emily Lau mentioned about a number of um, guides and guidelines. Between 2004 and 2008, uh, we already have have this uh, subcommittee urging the administration, uh, urging the police um, to issue these uh, protocol and uh, for cases to be taken up by surgeon and a team for each family and the checklist. I hope that this can be done um, better. Thank you for your views. And I think um, after, the, after the work of this subcommittee has been completed, there should be a, a report setting out um, the recommendations and the views of the deputations as well. Mr. Tenkapiu, three minutes. Well, there has been a revision of the law when there is a new definition that has been in place for four years. When it comes to the enforcement of the, um, of the ordinance, we see that, that the figures themselves are, um, are low, but we've heard from deputations that the situation hasn't improved. Would you conduct a review, say, for example, set a working uh, interdepartmental uh, working group or engaging academics to conduct a review? Do you have any such plans? My second point, well, whether there is um, um, domestic violence of um, different sex, different uh, sexes or same sex, there have been uh, situations when uh, photographs have been uploaded. Uh, on the internet, now, I've come across uh, cases when the, everything was um, was rosy. Then um, the clips have been um, have been recorded, but when the couple breaks, uh, when the couple breaks up, then one side threatened the other, saying that uh, the the clip will be uploaded. 
So when it comes to identification uh, front of, of a frontline, uh, safe frontline social workers, uh, do, do they have the sensitivity or do, uh, are they aware of the situation? Well, there is um, a committee and a working group. One is a committee on child abuse, and the other one is working group on combating violence. They are they are both chaired by the director for um, social welfare. They deal with um, the same sex uh, cohabitation and domestic violence. We use this platform to uh, review our work to see where we can enhance our work. Um, we will also take into account the views of the subcommittee and deputations. We will also take into account the change in uh, information technology and change in um, uh, so, and society, societal change. We will review whether there is a need to uh, update our guides and guidelines. I mentioned about. I also talk about sneak photos and uh, um, um, can we hear from the police? Yeah, the uh, um, violence is about I use my mobile phone to have a recording about some sex uh, matter. Then after uh, separation, then I make it for the three things or something. And I, I assume this is without the consent of the yeah. victim. Yeah, in, in, in that circumstance, th th there's possibly a criminal offence there. And obviously, if somebody is subject to that sort of conduct, they should make a report. They should come forward, and, and we would investigate it. Okay. But would you um, conduct a comprehensive uh, review or publicity campaign um, to um, publicize uh, against the, the occurrence of these cases, whether it's the police or, or social workers? Well, from, from a police point of view, if it was a widespread uh, MO and it was happening on a common basis and we thought that um, publicity would help, then we would consider doing so, yes. Mr. Fong, last year the social welfare department mounted a, a large-scale publicity campaign on the internet appealing to teenagers uh, to carefully use the internet and to be aware of their behavior and conduct um, on the internet, especially related to sex. Uh, say, for example, how you can better protect yourself. Um, and when someone make a request um, online, and how you should handle it. Is a publicity campaign involving um, secondary school students is very well received, and it's quite innovative as well. Sorry, I think it's about uh, following up work by social workers, not publicity. Any guidelines? Because we're talking about a new type of um, sexual violence or abuse or uh, harassment. Any such guidelines in the SWD? Well, we keep an eye on the um, changes in the technology and the internet. Social workers make more use of uh, the internet to reach out to um, service users. We have training for our social workers to make use of the electronic media to provide services uh, to the target groups. Thank you. So there is uh, no particular new guidelines, but there but there are special training. Mr. Ray Chan, thank you, thank you. Uh, I thank the deputations for coming to speak to us. They have asked a lot of questions, and I think it's enough uh, for this committee to deal with over the year. We'll collate the information and we will ask the administration to give us a response one by one. We, uh, there was a mention about uh, the low sensitivity and also the unclear definition. I think this is a deliberate act on the part of the administration because with an unclear definition, then uh, they ha they can make use of the situation and not deal with certain cases. And, um, and at the same time, um, maybe they can explain themselves away. Uh, by saying that this is actually not defined as this but that. I remember Andy Zhang made it very clear that there is a booklet for police officers to uh, 
to follow. But we've heard a lot of cases in which police officers are trying to appease uh, the parties, and uh, so that it will it um, will be withdrawn. So with the booklet, and when it reaches uh, police officers, and when they deal with uh, requests for assistance re in cases related to uh, domestic violence, well, do they actually put? Um, uh, handle the cases uh, properly, uh, or is it the case that uh, they, the um, police officers try to get the parties uh, to withdraw uh, the complaint? Or And what about uh, case referrals? And when it comes to sexual minority, it's an issue you cannot dodge. I heard that there is no special classification um, of cases involving um, homosexuals, how come they can they get the figure of 0.4% from the SWD? I would like to have a further discussion with the LWB and the SWD. There has been a number of questions asked by deputations on uh, policies in, um, involving homosexuals and um, uh, transgender. We don't have time for uh, answers, but now I have a question. How come the SWD reject um, sexual minority groups uh, in joining um, domestic violence concern groups? When will you consider uh, letting them join? Can you give me an answer? Who is to take this question? Mr. Fung? Thank you for the question. Well, this is a working group on combating violence. It, uh, it comprises uh, government departments uh, and also NGO representatives to formulate uh, policies or measures to combat violence. We are, um, the composition already covers uh, a wide spectrum. There is no plan to change the uh, composition. Are there representatives from sexual minority groups? We realize that communication is very important. As I've said, that we will, through different channels, collect the views of sexual minorities on domestic violence. Over the past four years, our department regularly uh, met uh, with uh, groups to collect their views. I think um, they are dodging our question. We're only asking for one more chair, one more seat uh, to include uh, sexual minority groups unless you don't want to deal with uh, an additional uh, category of cases, just like uh, what some uh, deputation said that uh, you would rather um, they are invisible. If, you, if that is the case, I will chase you and urge you to do something and pin you down. Second round, we have Miss Helena Wong, but there's only one minute left. Uh, hold on. We, th I think that this is a very important topic. You have to first deal with definition and uh, classification before the cases can be followed up, because they will require different uh, follow-up work. And we're talking about domestic violence and sexual violence. We have for domestic violence there is a piece of um, legislation, but when it comes to the uh, the police or the SWD, they don't really follow the uh, ordinance. They have their own mechanism. We still have time to talk about uh, the, the, the framework, the structure, but we need to properly deal with uh, the standardization of the definition and the reporting mechanism. Otherwise, we will be talking about different, will be cross purpose. I suggest that, that this um, will be follow up in the next meeting, but we don't need to the attendance of deputations. If members agree that I that we should, then we should. Um, I dedicate some more time on this topic. Next time, we were going to uh, talk about uh, shelter service uh, for uh, victims in uh, domestic violence or sexual violence. If you agree, we will um, discuss th uh, this current topic and the one I've just mentioned. We also need to uh, invite deputations to give the, the views. Uh, we have a very tight schedule. Uh, Ms. Emily Lau. Chairman, I agree. Although I haven't quite um, joined yet, I hope that you would um, come up with a paper uh, together with the Secretariat uh, covering um, the 
this uh, very topic, um, the administration's response and, and all the uh, points to note and so on, so that we have a focused discussion. Right, I will have a word with um, the uh, Secretariat. We will be consolidating um, today's uh, public hearing. Now, the paper will be circulated to government departments, and I hope that uh, a response that will be forthcoming before the next meeting. I understand time is pretty tight, and uh, we can certainly follow up on the matter. Ms. Helena Wall, that has to be the last speaker. Chairman, I agree that uh, we revisit um, the definition next time. Uh, we do need to talk about um, the shelter. I hope that the SWD will give us a paper as to the prevention. Now, there was um, a mention of how we should, um, or we can prevent the occurrence of uh, domestic violence. Perhaps uh, we can have uh, some more information for our discussion. And also the police. Um, the sex workers are um, suffering from um, intimidation and of um, violence, and we can deal with all these problems as well. well indeed, um, we will uh, follow up on the um, definition identification assessment next time. Or unless you have any further questions, thank you very much for meeting adjourned. Thank you.